Hello folks and welcome back to Survival Challenge. Here we are on No Man's Land. And yeah, we've been a little bit busy since last episode. Not done too much, just a little bit here and there. So actually first of all, let's check on our eggs. So yeah, in last episode we bought, or in between episodes we bought a bunch of barley. 200,000 litres and currently that is just there to feed the chickens. Eggs wise. Currently 33,000 litres or so. Yeah, that was definitely worth putting in. Well, I've already moved some wool over. And we've gone and topped up the greenhouses with the soil fertilizer and seeds because actually some of it was like stopped. It's actually stopped producing stuff, so geez, that was a bit iffy there, so. Move you out of the way because we've got a few things to do in this episode. For one, we're going to be hitting that 10 million pound mark pretty much straight away, I think. Because we've still got, got a million years of. What was it? Digestate cell? I think we've still got like 300,000 years in there at the moment as well. Also, we got a bunch of Surrey cell. Or transfer over. I think it was transfer over to the BGA. I think as we've learned with this series, that BGA is absolutely crazy when it comes to how much money you can make. If you can make the manure and Surrey and keep up with the rate of and as well as the they just keep up with the well, what's it, BGA, you can make absolute bank. But yeah, for now, I'm just going to put this back. Don't really need it for the time being. Gone in. Just done more things like service our equipment. I give some, some of them a wash, but not all of them. They will be washed at some point. And it's going to run out of fuel at some point, so... Going to need to get more diesel. How's our cows? So... Going to have our animals. Cows are doing alright at the moment. Chickens, obviously good. We're okay for grass slash hay at the moment. But I think that's going to be the thing. Come April, we're going to need to do. I'm doing our next cut of grass. We need to do hay. Of course, we've got hay at the moment in storage and that, so. Technically, it's not really a must sell situation, but it's one of those things, it's ideal. But yeah, actually, you know what? I think we'll kick off with selling. Obviously, we'll get to that 10 million pound mark, and we can do it straight right now with selling of the digestive mat. Let's sell uses packets and donuts. So, where is the tree to? Also, I've gone and moved the donuts into the pallet. We'll have a look at that in a few moments, but... I'm going to leave that tree to sit over here. Uh, no. Better be a sec, whilst I have a little look of where I've left my stuff to. Ah, here it is, just over here, so... But yeah, we've got a lot of milk here, so... Yeah, 92,000 litres of milk. And yeah, there's not really much need for it at the moment. Our productions are fine for milk at the moment. So yeah, really, there's not really much need for it. Best time to sell is now, so... Actually, sell everything container does offer slightly more money at twenty pounds per thousand litre, so yeah, heck it. We'll sell that there. And we'll go to Actually yeah, let's fill up with a Surrey sec. Yeah, so you've got another three thousand litres of milk. But yeah, use this pancakes is gonna get us a lot of money. And donuts. I'm sure we'll see if we've been producing more since then, so... Let me take this over to the PGA, get this put in. 
and then we'll start looking at the pancakes and donuts. So with that going in, let's have a little look here. Just want to make sure everything is all switched on, so... Yeah, we're fine there. It's the liquid fermenter, we need to turn that on. Don't worry, we'll, we'll get factory power. Not interested in that. Liquid manure, yes, all that stuff. There we go. So yeah, now it should be all kicking in now. So yeah, that is that. I will go to... Go to the case. Yeah, no, he's either of the trucks that we've got, or pickups, whatever. Yeah, yeah, I prefer to use this sometimes, just, it's a personal preference, obviously you didn't have to use this. We'll be using that later, because we're in February. I'm just going to, we're going to do a small batch of corn, we're going to do too much, nothing too radical or anything. Just enough, so. But yeah, speak of which, I've gone in just full heck it. I want a big cell at once, uh, I thought, okay, let's put everything on top of here, so, I think if we stack these, yeah, I think, yeah, it's best stack them, there we go, and then last one, right, come on, get up there, get up there, there we go, Nope. Alright, no, that's fine. Nope. So yeah, if we use, make sure that auto load side is at the back, because in the middle... Well, actually, no, it doesn't matter, because we can't auto load the pancakes, because I've got to try that. So yeah, we've got pancakes and pancakes and maple syrup, so... We've got 25 of each, so... Fair enough. And let's go and get these pallets loaded up and then sold. go we are fully loaded so yeah we've got 25,000 euros of pancakes 25,000 euros with pancakes with maple syrup 14,000 for glazed donuts 17,000 chocolate and 16,000 strawberry whatever donuts so yeah let's go and move this out of the way so yeah we're gonna be hitting that 10 million pounds mark. Not with this on its own, of course not. But yeah, let's see how much money we can make from this. Because this has been saving up for a while, so... Yeah, I'll see what the fruit of our labour is, so... Actually, let's do it this way. Let's go forward and then back straight up. So I'm trying to get everything all in one so we have a 
big old mouse figure. There we go, so yeah, let's go and have a look. Should be sitting right here. There we go, just try to make sure everything is all sold. Four hundred and forty six thousand. But we've still got pancakes to sell as well. So why aren't they going in? Well, is it because of these? Shouldn't be. Sold the other ones just fine. So what stop us for selling these? So what's well, the fine physics? So maybe ask why. Yeah, because these are just pancakes, right? So, all right. So let's go to our prices and see where exactly pancakes are meant to go. Because I'm sure some same place. So the other one's just fine. Yeah, sell everything container. So why ain't I getting my money for this? Ah, and that was just glitching out for whatever reason. Dang it. But you know what? I can't be disappointed. That is a nice figure to land on. And now, just to top ourselves over, we'll sell the Surrey, so. Not Surrey, sorry, uh, the Digestate, so. First of all, let me prop this up. Get that thing up again, because how much have we got here? Oh, uh, there we go, there. Yeah, half a million liters, so we're going to have here. Well, just shy of half a mil, but. Half a mil, none of that, so. But yeah, I want to see us hitting that 10 million pound mark with the help of uses pancakes and donuts oh yeah as well maybe the digestate had a little help with it and the goal as well but yeah also today we got other things to do not just saying we actually got farming stuff to do so we're cracking on that because we need to uh what's it was he plant the cotton? We'll spray our fields, or at least our grass fields. And yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff to do, so let's just see that money rock up and hit 10 million. Not only have we hit 10 million, we've absolutely smashed that. With that last load of digestate hit 572 grand. So yeah, that leaves us with almost eleven and a half million pounds. So overall, not too bad, I'd say. Overall, not too bad. So I think just to help us get to that eleven and a half million pound mark, I think we can sell some beefing. So yeah, you know, I'm sure we'll. How much is methane at the moment? So go up here and out, and yeah, methane should be near the golds, right? Ah, no, don't get a sell price figure. That kind of sucks, but yeah, I'm sure we'll easily hit them and a half mil with this. So yeah, let's go and top top sec, and then we'll sell it. So there we go. Go on, myth thing there and yeah we should easily hit that them and a half million pound mark so oh yeah we'll have to go and smash that and also just go on and top up this with a little bit of we've produced from the cows 
But yeah, once that fills up again, we will just set the key back, dist distribution, and pretty much be done with that. But yeah, so 11 half mil, I'm happy now. I'm still a little, a little bit more sell. 11.513 million pounds. Yeah, I'll say that ain't too bad. That ain't too shabby at all. But now, I need to do some farming. That's the thing, so that's the thing with these productions, it's be a pain in the butt to deal with, a pain in the ass. That does come a bit of a production management, but we're in that, but we're in the season to sell. But that's the thing. We're in the mood to sell, so that just makes sense. So, but yeah, for crops next year, I think I'll do cotton and at least sugar beets, because we need some more sugar being produced. How's our honey doing at the moment? And he's not doing too bad. Almost 3,000 liters, so. Yeah, if we go and look at our crop candor. Yeah, sugar beets. Not red beets, sorry. Yeah, sugar beets can be planted next month in March. Along with oats and all that, so. Unless we do cotton, sugar beets, and sugar cane, maybe. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Sure, but where though? So I'm thinking, oh, sugar beet. Oh, yeah, I want sugar beet on this field here. Sugar cane could go down here. Cotton could be here and here. Yeah, have three little cotton fields, and then just have to the huge sugar beets and sugar cane fields. But yeah, yeah, especially sugar cane. Haven't done sugar cane for a while. Obviously, we've got our grapes to do as well, place down that vineyard. But I ain't gonna be till. Uh, actually, no, we can do it in, in March. So yeah, we're looking at around March or April time. And yeah, can we do everything here? We can do sugar beets, we can do cotton. But yeah, so cotton is going to be on this field, and there's two smaller fields over there. And I think for now we'll just stick with the one. Actually, maybe worth getting two on. But yeah, we also need to start fertilizing the grass fields as well, so... Actually, if we get that started, so... I think if we do like the headland in that, then also afterwards we could, uh, what's it? So uh, fertilize it, uh, <laughs> yeah, fertilize the cotton field. But actually, let's go and fill this up a sec. So, do I have anything in storage? I doubt it, but. Let's have a little look. I'm sure this does take liquids and... Nope, it does not, so we need to purchase some, so... Bear with me a sec, whilst I go and purchase some liquid fertilizer. There we go, filled up with some delicious liquid fertilizer. So yeah, we'll get this unfolded, have a little look at the map, so... Yeah, everything needs another application of fertilizer, apart from a little bit over there. And our barley fields, I think that is. But yeah, 35,000 a year, so that should be enough to do all the fields. And actually, I'm not sure if we've hit it. No, we haven't, but we will be hitting a staggering goal of the amount of fertilizer we have used. So, currently we are on 996,000 litres of fertilizer used. I'm sure that is including liquid fertilizer. Yep, that is including liquid fertilizer, so yeah, we'll be hitting that mark sometime during this episode. Not sure exactly when, but yeah, it's also that little small strip over there. Maybe 
Maybe find a little shop over there and we will do something like a little red beet or parsnip or carrot fields. It's going to be worth it. No, of course not, but we're all at 11 and a half million quid at the moment. We'll just show that after. But you know what? We can change that. There we go, back up to 11 and a half mil and change. So yeah, we're going to be hitting that mark, no problems whatsoever. But yeah, we need to focus on this, getting the cotton in. So yeah, let's get all this done. And go and get done is a little short time lapse. So yeah, I'll get this done. And then I'll see you folks afterwards once we start to roll it. with the cotton plant in hand just in time because we are almost out of seed so we'll need to get this topped up and I think we've got some seed it's going to be all skew with you there so if we go over here I think we got some seeds right I know we sold some in well in between episodes or I sold some in between episodes but oh dang it didn't mean to do that. Oh well, we can always just buy some more seeds. So yeah, let's quickly get this topped up. And then we'll start looking at the rolled in. 
And there we go. So, actually, you know what? I'm just going to move this out of the way. Get a bit pre close. Actually, you know what? I don't think we really need this. So, you know what? Heck, it was just going to sell it. So, I think we sell some methane down the road, and that's easy enough to do. So, repair, repaint. A little bit of money back from there. Not much. Yeah, I should be careful of just like human diesel smoke behind the deep ship. Yeah, I shouldn't really be doing that, I don't think. Anyways, yeah, go and buy some more seed then. Yeah, this is just way easier to do. I'm not gonna cheat and make buy cheap seeds and that. I've got the money for it, I don't need to cheat with the money and that, so or cheap if cheap products and that. Yeah, they are pretty expensive, yeah. Yep, yeah, what for now? I'm gonna leave you over here. And I say we'll start doing the rolled in, however maybe we get the workers started on the rolled in. But yeah, we need to start looking at this uh fertilizing of the grass field because worker has stopped again. Ugh, I mean I just don't know why. Well, I know why you ain't the streets of fields and that. And really, I think, yeah, we've got these fields here. I don't have access to 29, but these trees here, we just, just get rid of them. Just go and get rid of them, I think, to be honest. Anywho. on the wrong side. There we go, connected in the middle. And spikes seem to be not actually connected like yeah that. Yeah it doesn't look connected to me but we'll just work with the fast farming. I shall have a quick test here on this small section over here. Ooh Tokyo Drift. <laughs> It's rollers. So there we go, got us lowered. It seems to be working fine. Fast farming? Not so much, so you know what? That's fine. Let's go and return that. Is there a speed difference? Yeah, got an extra mile an hour from that, so yeah, that was a huge waste of time there. But yeah, you know what? I am happy with that. I am worried about the workers going into the other fields. Even though there's no crops there at the moment, it's just wasting time and money and that. So yeah, I think I'll just do like the head and the gnat up here. Then when we get onto the section going straight back down, I'll put the worker on because yeah, we need to get this sorted. And actually the grass, how far is it in its growth state, I wonder? Ah, so it's actually not even starting to grow again, so... Actually, we do have time, because it won't be March, it'll be April when it's ready to mow. Or May, if we want to get that extra, just let it grow a little bit extra, I think. If we can afford it, in terms of we but not afford it, if we can spare the hay in that, then yeah, sure. We'll go and do that. Because, yeah, nothing grows over the winter period. So, yeah, you know what? There we go. Happy with that. Rucker's on its way. Yeah, these like bunch of trees here and that we could redo if just getting chopped down and moved. Yeah, it's causing so much issues for us, so Yeah, maybe get rid of um first still got that whole forest area over there, like we could really cut down in you know, cell. 
That's what I may do, actually, towards the end of the series. Get a... I just want to see if there's a tree harvester that is big enough. I can cut down those, like, massive trees, because they are, like, big. They're the ones that you can't redo really with your normal tree harvesters. But I think there's some with the Platinum Expansion DLC. That may just be able to help us out. Yeah, I'll have a little quick look at our sex. So, yeah. I think let's just get this little bit here done. Actually, since we've got the money, let's do a little quick test with it, shall we? Yeah, sure, why not? So, yeah, that's back on course. I'm going to trust a worker with this. Actually, that's going to be a bad mistake. So, yeah, we're just going to get this bit here done ourselves. So I used to have some hope of the worker actually making some progress. And yeah, the bits were missing. Oh, yeah, I am not worried about that. So... Anyways, as I was saying, let's get to work on this. And then we'll have a look at... what my plan is for the tree harvesting. So, where's the worker on that? Let's go and have a little look here, so... It's going to be under here, under forestry machine. So, yeah. This is what we'll typically use. Yeah, 71 centimeters is the biggest size it can cut. The Rotnas, that is 80 centimeters. 65. The one we've got can do 70 centimeters. That can only do 58 centimeters. But, yeah, so. This one here is absolute beast. Hannibal T50. 127 meters. I don't think there's any other ones. Just looking at that, that is 55 centimeters. So, yeah, that is going to be very expensive to lease. I'm going to need a load loader trader for that, so... No, not that. We'll need this. And just for the sake of it... We'll go and lease this out as well. So yeah, 50 grand for just a little quick test, so... Let's see, yeah, that'll get on there easily. I should see that easily. I don't know, actually, is it going to fit on it? I know there was, like, the Demco trailer that was recently released. I think, actually, that'd be a better fit for this, so... Ah, yeah, I forgot we can extend that, so... Raise the boards on sides. See, there we go. But yeah, this is absolutely huge, this is, so... We can cut a variety of length, so... That's good. That is unfolding that. So yeah, we don't want that. So I'm just setting the camera angle. Ah, so you yeah, can raise, not raise, you can widen and shorten the tracks. Adjust that. Really, that would be more for like silver and forest and that. Where you're like on the terrain and you have to pivot that on the terrain. Make like, use a little blade on the back. So yeah, this is actually going to fit on. Saying that, we're gonna have issues. I think we need to reverse this on. Eh, well, that's fine. I do apologise if like, the volume is loud. I'll, f I'll find out when I'm into this, but if it is loud, I do apologise and it will be remedied in the next episode. So, yeah. There we go. Come on, get on. I 
be unfolding this, I think. That is what we need to do, is unfold it. Then, we get this on. There we go. Ooh. Just want to look at the hand, so... Now, we need to fold this. Turn off. I should get rid of that menu. So now we're on. Let's go see if we can actually cut down these trees. Because if not, then we've got issues. And here we are. So yeah, let's go and have a look here, shall we? Need to be careful of not tipping this. So. Yeah, never, we're technically over the cotton we've already just planted, so... Not the most ideal, maybe. But yeah, as we have a look here, these are the, as big as they can get. Like, these are some big, like, huge, heavy trees. Like, I've never used this before, and this looks absolutely... <laughs> complicated cell, so so if we say worker stops, oh, great. That is that because of the tree length? Wow, why does it tilt like that? What? Okay, that's a boon. So I'm assuming I want it fully extended like that. Something like yeah, straight like that. There we go. Thankfully, we can use this. So there we go. Ah, so that top part just grabs it. Ah, I get you now. Then we have to do is just cut it down to bits, so we're at the moment. Eight centimeters. How long is the tree? Eight, sixteen, twenty-four, thirty-two. So yeah, that sounds about right. So we're gonna have some little bit extras on the end, like little twiggly bits, so actually I think that works out well for us. And downside is pulling this, like, seriously, when we get around to doing this, we're going to need to have another tractor or something to pull this. So there we go. Yeah, so I'm going to get this in here. Since we're already cut down, we want to cut. There we go. So yeah, these can cut these huge trees. Ooh, there we go. There we go. Actually, you know what? That was all we needed, so... You know what? Heck it, let's cut one more tree down. And like, it's such a big thing, it's like... And that, so it feels like a tank. You're driving like the tracks and that, just like, the sound of that diesel engine just sounds like a World War II German Panzer tank, it does. I know that's very oddly specific, but that's just from a reference that I know very well. There we go. A good thing with the premium expansion is because if you press L1. And then left D pad down, see, aligns with the tree net. There we go. And then set full. Not much room to like, think visibility to. Ooh, 
Properly, you can actually have the tree held up. So I'm guessing what we need to do now is tilt it. Ah, there we go. That's why that tilt option's there. What? I know it sounds stupid, uh, was it? The expansion's been up for a year now. But god, that is actually useful. Go. Just cut these down and just like so, we are done with that. Still not quite full, but you know what? For now, I'll return this because I am happy. So well, it's popped up on the used market. Great demand at the Surrey Yards. Don't tell me that is slurry. No, digestate. If that's digestate. Ah, right, if you was just some new I was going to say, if that was digestate, that had a great demand just now. After we've sold everything, I would have been pissed. But yeah, overall, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Workers made some progress, I'm guessing, on this. You know what, this will just leave for the time being. We need to get the rolling done here, so... How much is, has it done? A bit, still a bit left over. Let's get rid of that fertilizing state. So yeah, it's got this section over here to do, so you know what? Let's end the episode here with doing one more time lapse. Get the rolling done. And then, yeah, that's where we're it, end it for the day. So the next time, what we just have to do is start fertilizing the fields and that, and everything. Start planting stuff, preparing for the vineyard planting, and everything else.
guards on here, so yeah, let's go and quickly top this up here, so there we go. Oops. You know what? I'll do. So yeah, we are done. The rolling is pretty much done actually, it's just a little bit over here we the worker forgot, so yeah, let's quickly do that. But yeah, overall, the worker actually manages quite fine. Yeah, it's a bit over here, it always struggles with, so in I'm not surprised it has struggled. But that's not an issue for us, we can just go over it is and do it. So yeah, it's a little strip here on the sides. But yeah, just look at the forest, like, that is a huge, dense forest, and, like, properly dense. And there's one tree there. Here from squishing deer. Don't really squish state now, but yeah, it's like I should look at that because of yeah. Like how dense is this? Because I yeah, like everything's like super dense. Like we're gonna get a lot of wood from this. So anyway, sat sat, and yeah, let's we'll get the rest of this filled up a sec, and then start doing the fertilizing on the. What's it? Sugar beet fields. There we go, it's still correction there, so yeah, they don't take too much left. But I thought, what's it's here already? Might as well fill it up. But yeah, so we've got a total 22,000 leaves left. And let's look at that stat. We are at 1.01 million liters of fertilizer used and uh, we've used 16,000 years so far in this episode alone and that is just purely for the grass work not including anything else she has the bar you're looking at I know it needs rolling which I'm gonna do but sorry it needs rolling your bonus not too bad I'm just go over this. Let's so see what the yield bonus is going to be like now. There we go. We are spraying. So yeah, look at this. 75-ish percent. And what's it like? 98. Yeah. So that may be because we didn't do the mulching. I don't think. Yeah, we didn't mulch. So. I think when we, well, did I say sugar beet field we use fertilizer? I meant cotton. But yeah, I think when we get to doing these fields here, well, especially the sugar, sugar cane field over here, maybe worth doing roll, mulching and all that? Yeah, I don't know. Oops. So yeah, there's, uh, we could do, well, again, again, it's the whole thing off. Time versus rewards, and with sugar cane and sugar beets, that is a lot of these fish we're going to be having. So it does make sense if we actually pay attention to it. But oh, I don't know. Yeah, maybe we should leave it because we've got to do the rolling anyway. As long as we do either the rolling or the mulching, it's fine. But this field here, we could have just mulched this. I wouldn't take too long. And in fairness, the other two cotton fields wouldn't have took long to mulch. If I remember we needed to mulch, then yeah, we'll have gone and done it. But yeah, so all we've got left to do today is just finishing up the spraying here. And then I just think we'll leave it today. So yeah, I think next time what we'll be doing is planting the sugar beet and sugar cane. What well, sure reminds me, how do you plant sugar cane? Yeesh, I've not thought about that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Got cutters are good, but two meters planting. Uh, and that's doing that huge field over there. Yeah, I'll need to look on Mod Hub, see if there's 
anything that can help us with that because doing two meters is going to be the death of us so be it planters nope nothing there should be it's our problem but uh sugar cane oh god that's gonna be interesting but yeah anyways we'll get this finished up I'll see you folks when we're done, and that's where we'll wrap it for the day, I think. So, yeah, just a couple of little spots left to do. That is all of the spring done on the cotton field, so that is fully fertilized now. I just have a look. There we go, 90% yield bonus. Weeds are growing, and also we need to return this the mulching roller. Because I thought. Oh, let's get the mulching done. But of course, we cultivated all the fields, didn't we? So, yeah, that was going to happen. Oh well, my bad. That was about five grand. Well, about five thousand seven hundred, I think it was in the end. We did, which, in the grand scheme of things, didn't seem too bad overall. So, you know what? That I can live with. And actually, one thing I think would do is put this away. I think it's actually time to actually buy the sprayer itself, so we're gonna need like a liquid storage or something to store all of our stuff, so go to containers. I know we may want liquid storage down here, haven't we? Yeah, somewhere down here. Yeah, because if we just buy this into here, we can actually finally return this. Yeah, six hours of work and a long lease on it. Yeah, it's just good to have something that is our own, so... There we go. Unload you. So, what is it? The part of a hardy spray pack. It's the AL-5200 Devil Force. Fair enough. So yeah, that is unloading. And let's go and buy this. So under sprayers. And somewhere here. This one here. Yeah, we've got this one on lease. Yeah. So 33 meters. I'm not sure what the cut spec. So red, red and grey. There we go, that looks about close enough to the spec. So yeah, red, red, bit of black on top and grey at the bottom. So there are options for wheels, there is. Anything in particular? Let's go with BKTs. 
So that's going to cost us eight grand. And now we can finally go and return this. So there we go. Those pallets will keep for the time being because actually I don't know which one is which where everything's okay because we've got obviously those two. However, we've also got another one, two, three, four, five for those. So, and actually, I'm thinking, start spawning these actually. So, first of all, set to distribution. So, yeah, there we go. Skip ahead of time a bit there. But yeah, let's go and grab the wheel loader. Not wheel loader. Uh, I can grab you, you'll do. Actually, it's so damn tight a sec. Uh, yeah, forget about the noisy engine in this. So you've got this one here collecting the honey. I'm assuming. Maybe put it there because it doesn't seem to be budging too much, so. Keep an eye on that. So one in the position in a way it'll pick up the honey now with no issues whatsoever. But yeah, I'm thinking there is one more pallet left up here. And I thought we'll just use it to pick up the planks now. And this is the I can't tell what the capacity of this, but I'm pretty sure all these were unreal capacity ones. Yeah, I don't know why that does that. Like, I have got no clue whatsoever. Why are we... Why am I grabbing you? Attention bump system. Sometimes it's a bit... Ugh, if you error, that's for sure. But yeah, now we're solidly into the 11 and a half mil region. Let's go and put this over here, because if we can collect the planks... Where's it? Because I'm so planked. There we go. Up and down. So yeah, we put it... I'll say... Just whack it down. Yeah, also load here, right? So it starts spawning from this side, so set up to sorting. And just skip ahead of time a bit. Because will this work? That's the thing. I should also might as well store those. Yep, pallets going straight in. That is what I like to see. And if we skip ahead till the morning, we should see that filled up quite a bit. And also we can look at how everything else is doing, so... It's a nice sunny day. Put the time back down. So yeah, overnight, how much have we got from this? So, 9,000 litres of planked. That ain't too shabby. So that's doing its own thing over there. Um, now we see just groups it's coming in now. So that is good. We'll need to deal with our walls well at the start of the next episode because... Yep, that's overfilled again. Lovely jubbly. Check in the eggs, how are they doing? Not too bad. How you two got away? I'm not sure, but there we go. That's easily remedied. <laughs> yeah, sixty three, sixty-four thousand maybe. Yes, yeah, sixty-four thousand years of egg. So that's doing its thing. No, I didn't lock the food off. How much is still there? 137,000 litres of barley. 
That way you can just leave it there and it just feeds in automatically and just a bit of a petrol. Ah, uh, speaking of feeding, the cows are out of food, right? Yep, they're out of food. Lovely. So, yeah, the first thing we'll do in the next episode is we'll take care of that. But yeah, the honey. How is that doing? Hopefully we shall have some more honey coming in. There we go. Yeah, I think here yeah, wasn't spawning, so just slightly adjusting it. Did exactly what we need to. I think we've still got a couple more pallets, obviously, because we're always holding all the donuts and all that stuff in that episode. No, not that episode, sorry, this episode, I think it was. Nah, <laughs> uh, just recording this episode back to back. Oh, uh, yeah. Take a look that effect. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got plenty of more donuts. How's that looking? Materials missing. What are they missing? If I guess, eggs. Oh, sugar. Fair enough. Sure, what? Just. Go and grab that now. But yeah, that's the thing, like, sugar, we are going to be low on. Yeah, we're getting sugar beet from the greenhouses. That's all good to a degree, but overall, you yeah, need a better solution. So, are these suitable? They are, so, well, by fashion. So, yeah, these three pallets we'll put in with the rest of the clothes, so there we go. Well, yeah, also the eggs, we'll grab some eggs, we will take them over here. Won't take too much, but still. So, there we go. Sugar going in. I'll keep it going for a little bit. And now just quickly show off the clothes. And there we go. So yeah, at the moment we've got 43,000 litres of clothes. That is literally all the clothes we have collected thus far. And yeah, I'm sorry, misplaced the position of that pallet. There we go. So that is 48,000 litres we've got now. We're going to make a lot of money from these clothes. Actually, let's go and swap some of these. That's the green meal done. Make a little bit more sugar. That's that, that's that. Yeah, it's all looking good. Wait, what was I on about? Oh yeah, the... Prices. So go up here. It's going to be somewhere here. Nope, bit further up. So yeah, we're looking for clothes. So clothes. At the moment, we are at around 17 grand, and we can hit 18,000. So next month, we will sell that. Is there anything in particular that is it is peak price now? Milk, we've got milk spare, but eggs, well, not so much. We'll keep store of those until at least June, by the looks of it. Is there anything else at its peak now we can sell? We're gonna have a quick look here for a few. No, not really. It's just the pancakes. They're at our peak price now. So, yeah, next episode we'll grab a bunch of those and sell them. But yeah, for the planks, as expected, I thought it would be around June, July, and I was correct. 2500 around June, July ish time. At the moment, we get about 2100, so yeah, so we're harming waiting a little bit longer. We'll leave that there, so yeah. That's where I'm going to leave it today, so next time, a couple of things to sell. Main thing is getting the sugar beet and sugar cane planted. Then, in the following episode, we'll start doing the grapes. Looking forward to getting that in, actually doing grapes again. That'll be very interesting to do, and yes, 
will involve spending a lot of money on a lot of equipment. But anyway, as I said, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to click down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, then please consider. But, very cheers to do. Hope you're going to see. But for now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.